we're going to get started this morning with scripture. We're just going to continue the Thanksgiving theme. This Christmas from uh, Psalm 107, uh, verses 1 through 9. And it reads, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures well. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. Those he gathered from the land, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wasteland, finding no way to a city for they could sell. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could sell. It. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he satisfied the thirsty and filled the hungry with good things. Amen. 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 I want to this thing, I want to thank each and every one of you all, members and visitors, for coming and joining us today. Uh, your support, your attendance, your <coughs> financial support is very, very much appreciated. We may not say it enough, but we really appreciate all of you. Thank you. Good morning, church. Good morning, honey, brother. Good morning.
and we got it. I'm sorry, y'all still full from Thanksgiving. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to see each and every one of you in this place today. We are thankful to have you here to come worship with us at the Pine Grove Baptist Church this morning. And I tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made. Right. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be personal. I'm going to rejoice. Yeah. And you're glad in it. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. If you would, let us open up with a prayer. I just believe prayer is always in order. Oh, yeah. We're going to move as expeditiously as possible through this program. All right. Because there's some folks said they're hungry. Amen. Yeah. And if I say amen, there's some folks said they're hungry, not for yeah. physical yeah. food. Yeah. All right. For that spiritual food. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Let us pray you off. We will. Oh, gracious eternal God, our Father, Lord, is once again, we come with bowed heads and truly humble hearts, Lord, just to say thank you. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that you brought us from our early existence truly up until this present time. And Father, we just thank you, Lord, that we're here after a wonderful week of what we like to celebrate here is Thanksgiving. Yeah. We thank you, Father, that all of us have come back to your house of worship, Lord, to just give you thanks once again. All right. To praise you for what you've done, Lord, but truly worship you for who you are. Yes. Lord, we just thank you once again this morning. We ask that you allow this worship experience to touch and pierce the very hearts of our soul. That we can leave these seats today and be better when we leave here. From that in which we came. For we'll be mindful, Lord, to just give you all the praise and all the glory. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen. 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 Let's give the Lord some praise in this house. praise and worship. And if you don't mind, let us put our hands together or, or meditate on the things that God has blessed us with, not just monetarily.
in the wilderness. Yes, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, yes, sir. and all flesh shall see it together. Yep. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the good is thereof. It is the power of the field. The grass wither, uh -huh. the yes, flower huh? fade, right. because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Mm. Surely the people is grass. The, grain. the grass the wither, the, the flower fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. 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 One thing, my brothers and sisters, is Pastor Reed that will stand for you. And that's the word of God. Amen. 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 We want to invite, I want to welcome you once again, all of you who came and to worship with us this morning. We pray that this worship experience be a blessing um, to your soul. And as we continue to go down the program, we will um, fellowship one with another. That's the next part of our program that we like because it allows you to loosen up and shake those bones a little bit and speak to someone who you haven't spoken to maybe this morning or in a while. Amen. So let us fellowship, if you're able, um, one with another as the choir gives us another selection, then we're going to come back and proceed with our program as printed. Amen. 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 Let us fellowship one with another. Find you somebody. Hug them. Hug them. Tell them good morning this morning.
your time and efforts to go and meet someone yeah. who you haven't met before. To all of those who I just met and hadn't met you before, God bless you and thank you for choosing Heidi Grove as your worship experience this morning. We're glad to have you in this space and definitely in this holy place. Amen. 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 And at this time, I did spot her. She kind of fooled me a little bit at the moment. But I see her. Sister Hunter. There she is right there. That's right. right. No joke, y'all. Y'all have to know she will pull one on you. Yeah, you know how women look different. Y'all see me? I'm looking the same. The hairstyles vary time to time. Amen. You so have to find her. Amen. Needle in the haystack. I believe. Amen. Come on, sister. Come on, church. Come on. Welcome back. It's good to see each and every one of y'all. Praise God for keeping us safe during the Thanksgiving holiday. Amen. Praise God. We just have a few announcements this morning. Uh, first of all, we have uh, greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, the Power Missionary Baptist Church of Tarleton, Georgia. Call and invite you to uh, the church family to come and celebrate Pastor Benton Copeland's second pastoral anniversary. Uh, the celebration will take place on Sunday, December 2nd at both our 11 o'clock a.m. and 2 p.m. services. The guest speaker for our morning service is Brother Wesley Thompson of the Bethel Corbett Missionary Baptist Church in Mexico, Alabama. And our afternoon speaker will be Pastor Tracy Neal and the Levitt Hill Baptist Church of Warm Springs, Georgia. Grace and peace to our church family. Amen. And also, we are having a coat drive and going to feed the homeless for December. Uh, we would like to have some clean coats uh, in good condition uh, for male and female or children. Please bring them uh, to us here at Piney Grove. If you see somebody that you know, that kind of you want to give them to, we'll actually bring them on December 20th, November 27th. Mm -hmm. Uh, on December the 4th and December the 9th. Is that right, Pastor? Oh, yes, okay. Yes, okay, all right. So, because uh, also now, December the 8th is our business church conference <coughs> at 9 o'clock. So, members, please come out because we are getting ready to do the calendar of the Lord's will for 2019. And also, uh, post out some other things. And so, on December the 8th, St. Paul uh, will be having in Shiloh, uh, Manchester, whatever that's considered the road there. What is it? Shiloh, oh. Shiloh, Shiloh. Okay. We're going to Manchester. Shiloh, Shiloh. One of them. One of them. St. Paul will be having uh, their yearly family Christmas banquet. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be at 6 o'clock. And also, they are having tickets. Uh, the tickets are twenty dollars, and also the first ticket that you come, they would like you to bring a five dollar uh, gift because they change gifts and slow and everything. Um, and last but not least of that, it will be our own Pastor Thorn will be the guest speaker that one. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's come out and support them and support our pastor. Uh, December the eleventh. Oh, so you very close in. That will be our last Bible study. Is that right? Which one? I think it's the... Eleven. Yeah. yeah, keep me straight, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. So that will be our last Bible study. And two. And two. And two. And two. And two. So no more two. Now we still love to after the first of the year when we start back. Yes, uh, We'll let you know that by the end of December. And also, uh, I'm not sure if I missed any important announcements before I go on. Okay, well, if not, we have uh, our prayer list. Some are sitting shut in, some just need prayer. Mm -hmm. And um, before I get started, just real high, just real. You all right? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got that confirmation done. Okay. So for our sitting shut in, we have Brother Powell Dillon, <coughs> we have Sister Shirley and Jackson, and Sister Shirley and Jackson's is Poochie's. And uh, we have Sister 
Rita Terry, uh, she's at home, and Brother Paul Williams at home, and Sister Shirley, and she's at home. We have Sister Leatherdale Cub Pepper at home. We have Brother Aaron Knight, uh, Brother Curtis Jameson. We have Sister Angeline Cub Pepper. Uh, Miss Cub Pepper, she's fine. She's had some surgery, uh, light surgery. We have Sister Victoria Spinkston, and we have Brother Alvin Copeland. And uh, so, and then also, I don't have any names so I was reading it, but I'm quite sure there's some in the area. And just around the country. So let's pray for all our Marine families. Amen. 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 Uh, last but not least, we got some young people. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my pastor. He, uh, he turned 38. <laughs> 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 That's what he told me. <laughs> He called me one day and said, hey, man, you know, um, 
Pastor, the, 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 song, the band was at 5.30. I said, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got you, man. But uh, Cassie informed me with a text that uh, what I was going to be going for. But that's just the teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I'm right. 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 Uh, the church always gets in where it fits in in the community. And we really appreciate that. So on behalf of A Way of Life presented to the Pine Grove Baptist Church, a token of appreciation for your efforts and collaboration in community excellence. So we thank you, Pine Grove, for your contribution. all before we acknowledge our visitors. We want to thank you all for those that uh, it was a last minute effort. And forgive me for those that haven't called December would be better planned. Uh, but we went out um, Monday. Mm. And you all, we did something that our, our hearts have always led us to do. The vision the Lord has given us for the years. Uh, to go out and bless those that are less fortunate than we are. Mm. And I must say my brothers and sisters, when I said this church don't play when it comes to getting out and beating the streets. Literally, we beat the streets. You may not have physically been there, but you contributed in your prayers and your efforts and your donations and your encouragement. Because not everybody uh, is for you. They, they, they don't, some people just don't care that there are folk that don't have. Or right. that suffer and, and don't have things. They, they met up here, I think, early 9 o'clock that morning. Back there in the kitchen. Fixing sandwiches and slinging turkey, ham, and bread everywhere, and snack cakes. And then we had those, and I won't start calling names, but some people say they just want to remain your right. And I appreciate that. But they donated and gave beyond measure, mm. whether in time, money, effort, whatever the case may be. And thank you all, because you all didn't right. have to do it. All right. But you did. We fell over 250 people, you all. Do you remember? Right. say I'm really grateful this morning. If I get too excited, pray for me. But I was approached by a gentleman, I'm going to get out the way real quick when we acknowledge the business that a gentleman that I knew years ago, and then when I say he had it going on, he had a business that was thriving. Mm. <laughs> Top, making more money than he could count. The reason I know because I used to stop and converse with him time to time, uh, probably pretty much every week because I was in that area. And someone called my name out on Hamilton Road. Didn't quite recognize him at first, but when he pulled the hat up a little bit, I recognized who he was. Mm. It was the gentleman that had it going on. Mm. Didn't ask me for money. Strictly asked me for prayers. Mm. He said, I fell on hard times. I, I had it all, but it slowly just went away. Mm. Well, I told him, I said, now you remember the book of Job, it tells us that man born a woman is of a few days. Right. And full of trouble. Yes, sir. Job had 42 chapters of his life, but in that last chapter, Job will restore double for his trouble. Mm -hmm. And I told him, You stay encouraged, my brother. Here's my card. Anything that we can do for you, we will. My brother and sister, we're blessed beyond measure. Mm -hmm. That's going to be our message today. Quit complaining. Mm -hmm. Quit complaining. Mm -hmm. Quit complaining. It can be worse. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it can be worse. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about going to complain about nothing. Paul said, well, I have a lot. I'm going to be grateful. Right. Well, let me put it in Paul. said, if I'm a mind or a base, in other words, if I'm high, yeah. at the bank, if I got a comma in there, or if I got one digit behind another letter, yeah. Paul said, I'm grateful. Yeah. Right. I won't right. complain. Come on. I gave y'all my title, my message already, y'all. This is all right. Visitors, if we would, if we would, please. Um, and Reverend Terry is coming next with our food for thought. We're going to um, press on. Our visitors, uh, they're the visitors, would like to say anything this morning. I said, boy, you know good. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it. But if I'm up, I have to come out. <laughs> uh, there are any the visitors this morning. Please, if you're a visitor, just raise your hand. We'd like to give you a little token of love from our youth department, as well as those that help with our youth department, Sister Emerson and Sister Hunter. We thank y'all so much for making this your worship experience this morning. Amen. Let's give them a hand, please. Thank you so much. These doors will open on 2nd and 4th Sunday at 11 a.m. and 10.30 for uh, coffee and donuts. You're more than welcome at 10 o'clock for our power on the 5th Sunday when there is one. And then we go to the back with one of the finest buffets. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. With one of the finest buffets. <laughs> <laughs> so 
join us. If you'd like to eat, come on. If you just want to see us, come on. But uh, join us anytime these doors are open. Amen. We thank you for all the visitors. And I'm going to get out of the way and bring up Reverend Terry. Next, we will have our offertory offering. And one of the brothers will pray over our offering once uh, Pastor Terry, Reverend Terry is done. Amen. Give us some hope, Doc. Help us. I greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For the all made one. My inspiration for the Father, Brother Don pretty much said it all. He was all in it and all alone. <laughs> you know, he just stepped on the toe. He just didn't get me say out. I said, well, you done told it, so let me go ahead on the finish. Amen? Amen. Amen. And what it does, it just leads to this right here. Uh, on Monday, you had the opportunity to feed the homeless, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I wasn't here. But I just got one thing that I would like to share with you that Reverend Thorne shared with me that it's this one particular individual that was homeless, that is homeless. Mm -hmm. And he go by the name of Reed. Oh boy. I mean, that's all I got to say, man. You ever met him? That's all I got to say. Because that particular fellow right there, he made homeless look easy. Yes, he is. You follow what I'm saying? He's homeless. But he's happy. Yes. He's homeless. But he's happy. But he's happy. Yes, sir. But then I have to bring it back to the house. And this is going to get home right here. Let truth be known. And let the truth be told. We are one job, one check. Huh? Oh, wait. Huh? Let truth be known. We are just that close to being homeless ourselves. But then I have to just look and just think and trust and believe in God. What I got to tell you this is that just be humble and never think that you are better than anyone. Him now. We don't know what happened. We don't know why he fell. He fell on hard time, but we don't know why. But see, what, 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 what I'm just foolish enough to believe. Tell the story. If you sow a good seed, mm -hmm. huh? if you sow a good seed, the Lord will continue to bless us. But then it goes back to saying Roman. You know, I always got to put a little Jesus in. Roman 15 and 1 say, We did. That are strong, also better than infirmities of the old. Yes, sir. I'm done. Amen. 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 Let us remain thankful, my brothers and sisters. Amen. At this time, thank you, Reverend Chair, for that design. Homeless but happy. Yes, sir, I know. Homeless but happy. It's now time for giving. I'm going to ask our brethren to. Please bless our tithes and offerings as the Lord has put in your heart to give, my brothers. I ask that you please, ma'am, please, sir, do so. Amen. Sing your name, Steve. Before we let our, I just want to remind our Patty Road members how uh, the Plants Campaign for 2018 is going real well. And for those of you who have already uh, done your plans, we appreciate it. The ones who have not, we got to the end of December, so. Just want to be a reminder. Just keep that in mind, okay? Amen. Father God, Father Abraham, I yes. love you. Yes, yes. yes. Father God, I'd like to take the opportunity to come before you and just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving us the many opportunities to come before you. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Father God, we'd like to thank you for keeping us in your arms and in your hands. Thank you. Father God, remind you for one thing right now, Father God. And just pick it back up what Pastor just said. Let us not be homeless. Mm. Let us find the truth, oh, yeah. the love mm -hmm. that your son Jesus Christ gave us. Mm -hmm. yes. Father God, it would be sad that day, Father God, that he come again mm -hmm. and we be homeless. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Father God, I ask you to take the offering that we're about to receive. Yes. Yeah. Take it, ask you to, to build it up, shake it up, multiply it. Mm -hmm. Father God, for the building of your kingdom, yes. bless the hand that, that decide to give, Father God. Mm -hmm. Bless the ones that can't give, Father God. Your son, Jesus Christ, name is Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's take guys around, my brothers and sisters. Please give as the Lord has blessed you to give. Amen. 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 Amen.
to move it somewhere. Yeah. 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 I went too far. Can I come back up for a minute? Oh, yeah. I was sitting right there in that hall. All right, all right. It hadn't felt it yet. This may be a good time to come feel it. Amen. Amen. It's praying time, my brothers and sisters. Yes. It's praying time. If you can come to the altar if you choose, or you can sit or stand where you are. It comes time for prayer. If you don't mind, get your heart and mind in a state of. Want them to get close to the throne. Yes. Are there any special prayer requests throughout the sanctuary this morning that you would like to put in the air? Amen. Are there any special prayer requests? Amen. The Carter family. Amen. The Carter family. Are there any other special requests? The Carter family here too. Amen. The Carter family again. Amen. Amen. All right. Can you put a prayer? We have the name and the rest of us. Sleep by the singers and singing, shutting in, and those that are in the hour of reading in our prayer. Are there any other yes, prayer requests? Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. 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 family in our prayers. If you don't mind, can I, can I jump on the boat with y'all? I help out. Amen. 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 Right. 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 Go on the family in that number two, please. Amen. Amen. All of those in California and locally have been dealing with fires. You know, they, they do increase during this holiday season. Amen. Yeah. Uh, as everyone to keep my family in prayer and as they travel throughout the scene one of our other family members. So, travel mercy. Good to have you with us, Towns. Good to have you, brother. Thank you for coming here today. Yes, ma'am. The Porter family. Amen. The Porter family. Yes, ma'am. Father who truly art in heaven. Yes. yes. Lord, we come right now just to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you've allowed us to see a day. Oh, yeah. As I heard Pastor Jackson said earlier that we've never seen before. Yes. Yes. And truly it's a day, Lord, that we'll never see again. Yes. But Lord, we heard all of those names that were called out this morning and we do realize that some need you for one thing, but others need you for another. But Father God, we'll all come as an empty, empty vessel, Lord. Before a fountain, we know that it can be filled only by you. So Father, we ask that you fill us up this morning. Hearts are heavy, minds are all over the place. Spirit gets down from time to time. But Lord, I remember what you told your disciples. You said, I'd never leave thee, uh -huh. nor yeah. forsake thee. That's right. And then I heard Isaiah say, when we get a little weak sometimes, yeah. Yeah. I heard him say in that verse number 31 that he would just build up our strength. He would right. renew it, right? All right. And give us the strength to mount up with wings like you. Yes. Oh, yeah. We shall run and not be weary and truly when we get tired of running. We shall walk and not faint. Right. Father God, continue to bless every soul, every body yes. that's in this place today. Yes. Yes. For they could have been anywhere else, Lord. Yes. But Father, we thank you that they felt like David this morning. And they said, I was glad when they yes. said unto me, yes. let us go into the house of the Lord. For Lord, we know in your house there's restoration, yes. there's healing, yes. Lord, there's forgiveness. Yes. And Lord, we truly know that there's power. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord, we thank you this morning for all that you've done and all that you will do. Oh, yeah. But as I heard one song was to say, she said, Lord, if you don't do anything else, yeah. truly, Lord, you've already done it. Oh, yeah. Father, continue to touch this ministry, continue to bless us, raise beyond measure. Thank you for all the men and women of God that came to this house today. Lord, to get a word, to get fed, Father God. Because the word is a lamp unto our feet and to be a light in our feet. We thank you, Lord, for thank another Thanksgiving that came at this call. Yes. Lord, I pray that every soul, everybody here, was thankful yes. for the many blessings that you bestowed. 
soul. Yes. And as we approach the next holiday season, Father God, let us have that spirit of giving. Yes. Not taking, but the spirit of giving. Yes. Be the spirit of loving one another. Yes. Giving to those and loving those that may just need just a little hug time to time. It's not right. about monetary all right. gifts. All right. But Lord, it's all about the gift. Oh, yes. The dying that's right to eat, and I don't care. Oh, yes. We thank you, Lord, that you can stay there, but you got to learn it. To intercede for you and for yes. And Lord, we ask that you hear our prayer. Yes. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. And let every believer that love the Lord say amen. 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 Go in peace.
ain't even one nigga. Yeah, but it is. Oh, yeah. Got them folk in here. How dare y'all stand up there and preach in jeans? And women ain't got on dresses. Oh, yeah. It's the fourth book of the of the Old Testament. Fourth book right. of the Old Testament. It's called the Pentateuch or, or, or the Book of Moses, but it's the fourth one. Genesis, Esther, Exodus, Leviticus. Oh, y'all got it. I believe you got it. If not, use the very front of your Bible. I promise you. All right. You will find it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Numbers chapter 20, my brothers and sisters, for the time we have to share together. I would like to commence my reading, my brothers and sisters, in verse number two. Verse number two. Verse number two. Then I'm going to jump to verse 12. And then that's going to be enough, alright? All right. And the Holy Writ reads thusly, Now there was no water for the congregation. All right. So they gathered together, not with, but against Moses and Aaron. And the people contended with Moses and spoke, saying, Only we to die when our brethren died before the Lord. Verse number 12. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron. Did speak to the folk? Mm -hmm. Hello, y'all are here. He spoke to Moses and Aaron because you did not believe me. To hallow me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore, you should not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. That's enough. You may be seated. All right. The grass withered the flower of faith. For the word of our God yes. shall stand forever. I would like to use for a subject our wounds. And if I can have a subtitle just for the uh, sake of having the backup, I would just say trust. In the Lord. Amen. Right. My brothers and sisters, there was a song and I love to hear it all the time. And I remember listening to it some time ago. And the brother said, I won't complain. He said, I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. And that, that's strong. Now, I've had some good days. Oh, yeah. But for some of us, we can throw our own testimony in there and say, boy, I've had some bad ones too. But I used to hear my mother all the time, son, I just won't. She said, I could. But I won't. But I won't. Complain. And I understand that we all have worries. We all have concerns. But we do. My brothers and sisters, no matter how holy we are, no matter how much Bible you told the scripture you quote, there are times when you find yourself complaining. Can I come down and put y'all for a There are times when you find yourself complaining. But, but I stopped by to share with you today. If you spend more time thinking in order to think, then you won't have to complain. Because we all have something that we could complain about. For some of us, but it's a water pipe yeah. Yeah. For some of us, these doggone folks don't appreciate us on our job. Yeah, yeah. 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 some folks don't appreciate what they have until they come. My mother used to say, you won't miss your water until you don't pay Some of us yeah. may have a partner in the house that's acting right. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we may have male or female. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to come home now. Right? I got to go home with this. <laughs> It's all good at 56 Aaron Lane. Just want to let y'all know. Right? I don't know how rumors will start YouTube over here. So, you know, so like but we all have a reason to complain about yeah. something. And what really opened my eyes, Brother Mike, is when I was down on Hamilton Road. Yes. Yes. You go to a safe house. Yeah. And, and, and you see Brother Jackson. You tell one or two. Y'all right. know how gossip spreads. Oh, yeah. yeah. You tell one or two and watch what happened to them. Sure. All right. So we approach the individual standing right outside, Bubba, and when we ask them to go share with the others that we had a little... Now watch this. Now I want y'all to see how grateful 
Watch this. Now they are serving Thanksgiving dinner unbeknownst to us. Right. Downstairs, Sister Rose. In the basement. Now y'all know what Thanksgiving dinner consists of. Yeah. It consists of a meal. Y'all know I saw some of the oh, pictures yeah. on your book, the page. Yeah, y'all got out on this Thanksgiving. But it's a meal like you wouldn't believe. Always more food than, than, than lack. Uh -huh. But when I shared with them, we just came to give you a little blessing spiritually and physically. They went and told everybody on the inside. All right. Everybody on the inside left that meal to come on the outside and get a sandwich. Y'all like this. Right. 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 They were thankful right. for somebody thinking of them. Right. They had the attitude, I would like to say, of gratitude. Right. Right. They were very appreciative. And as we approach these holidays, we should always be thankful. But especially in this time of year, you should be grateful and thankful. For whatever you have. And you should be thankful for whoever brought you out of or brought you to what you have right now. Because if you grew up like me, baby, hey, you had to make your car. They talking to me. Some sky shape or some gray tape. And see, some of them more privileged than others, but y'all. Uh, I had to make me a ball. Yeah. Mom and daddy couldn't afford oh. yeah. to buy me a baseball at the time. Single parent household. So if you ain't never been there, maybe you had a car ever since you were eight or nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ride before. Yeah. But when they said the two Chevy got fixed, you yeah. couldn't tell my brother nothing. I had everything. Right. Right. ride. Well, there's some things you have to reflect back on and remember. Yes, sir. And as we look in the text this morning, my brothers and sisters, it's a wilderness experience. My brothers and sisters, you all may know if you go back to the book of Exodus, you'll find out that 400 years of being in bondage and slavery is a long time. And when your people are bound up and tied up and tangled up, all you know is that culture that you know. And some people right now in this day and age are slaved up. Their mindset is so bogged up in, into doing what they always have. Done. Right. Tradition. Yes. Yeah, y'all know. Uh, yes. What she said, this ain't no ordinary worship. That's it. That's it. Right. You will not sit throwing in a suit all time. All right. All right. They bust them in some overalls. All right. They have to go to the God that look at the outside. God looks at the inside. 400 years of bondage, and you have to realize that that trip didn't take. Uh, the wilderness spirit. This is going to the promised land. That's what this whole thing is about. God's trying to get them to the promised land. Yeah. But you got that older generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I stay there for a minute? Right. 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 I'm going to break on the older generation. Yeah. Chapter 20 is dealing in numbers is dealing with the new generation now. The older generation has died. All right. And you say, well, there's one left. Yeah, in the text it says Miriam in verse number one. Miriam has now died. Miriam was Moses' sister. Y'all know Miriam, when they crossed the Red Sea in Exodus chapter 14, Miriam had a temple. She was playing in front of history. Oh, yeah, they had a song going on. She was singing her dance song. They were right. happy right. to be on the other side. Right. And when you cross over to the other side, don't forget where you come from. Yeah. What a song in your heart. Yeah. What a song in your heart. And the Bible says she played that instrument, that song. Miriam was, was, was she, she was, uh, she, she had some negative things to say when he married the Ethiopian woman. Yeah. But Moses didn't care nothing about that. No. All right. Nobody tell folks, hey, don't worry about who are the 50, 20, 60, let me marry who I married. Yeah. 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 yeah, sister or brother, but, but she had some good about it. Uh -huh. And now, the last of that generation has died off. And now this new generation. Yeah, right. The new generation. Yeah. Come on, man. The new generation. I'm not to pick it, nobody. I'm just saying what I'm saying. The new generation have no clue uh -huh. of what the struggle that the old generation went through. They have no clue. Because I tell you, God has been good to us. some oranges and apples that you did not plant. He said, you, you are get, taking advantage of some stuff that you had nothing to do with. And that's why I tell you, younger generation, appreciate the older folk. All right. Are y'all with me here? Appreciate yeah. the ones that have come to before Because they went through some things for us to have what we have right now. And the Bible says, here they go. Uh -huh. They start complaining. Yeah. Start complaining, but to me, it's a legitimate complaint to a degree. If you look at it, oh, see, you might look at it, I ain't got my credit. Yeah. <laughs> they said, verse number two, there was no war. Yeah. But in Exodus chapter 17, God had done it before. Mm -hmm. Write that down and look at it. 
you don't take my word for it. When you go back, look at Exodus 17. The people were thirsty. See, water that was needed in that land for the animals and for everything. Think about it. When the last time have you drank some water? Oh, let me say, okay, folks, don't drink water. Okay, when the last time have you drank some liquid? Right. Yeah, we, we like it with a meal. We like to go to the refrigerator and get us a beverage here and there. Can you imagine not having any? Any water? They just said sweet tea. They just said Sprite, lemonade, knee high peach. I'm naming all of my life on it. But they said water. But in Exodus 17, they didn't have any water. So Moses went to God. All right. said, oh, here these folk go again. All right. He complained again. All right. So what he did was he provided water back then. That's right. So if he did it back then, y'all would have Why would you think he won't do it all again? We counting God out, my brothers and sisters. We count God out before. See, why you trying to figure it out? Yes, sir. God has already worked it out. He just has to show you and I yet. That's all. He's already worked this thing out. But the Bible said they started complaining. There's no more. But not only did they complain to Moses, they complained to his brother Aaron. Y'all know who Aaron was. All right. But Moses said, Lord, I can't go speak to them folks. My, 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 your mouth. Your mouth. Your mouth. All right. I got somebody to speak for you. So now it's against Moses and Aaron. Look at it. So they gathered together against both of them. Verse number two, and the people continued with Moses saying, saying, look, if we'd only die, you mean to tell me you'd rather die than wait on God? Now y'all with me here. All right. You mean to tell me you want to be left? See, some people have their mind, instead of their mind being in Canaan, they were way back there in Egypt. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had food and had, but you were slaves. Your, your folks were slaves. Why would you want to go back to bondage opposed to being free? All right. Because you remember the promised land had to be scoped out. Yeah. Right. He sent some people to scope out the promised land. It was around 400 people that was, it was around 400 then. Now you got to understand the population has increased. All right. What the scripture said, be fruitful and multiply. All right. Oh, y'all going to get holy now. <laughs> but that's what they need. Now they're in a population of probably over a million people. Right. So you mean to tell me a million folk can't overtake the land of Canaan? You mean to tell me God's already promised it to you? So you mean to tell me from 400 to over a million, you all can't go in there and just swipe them folk right. up? Right. A million folk. But no, no, we can't do it. They got giants there. No. <laughs> no, the folks are too huge and big. You see those tall guys? All right. Man, look here. Jonathan, Joshua and Caleb said, hey, I'll go over there. All right. All right. All right. All right. I go with Pete and see. He said, I believe y'all can handle it. Right. But you still have these folk. They were faithless. They were stubborn. They, they didn't want to listen to God. And when you are that way, my brothers and sisters, or when we're that way, we cannot receive the blessings from God. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. But what I love about God in the text this morning, God still yeah. got on the back All right. Yeah. All right. Because they wanted to throw stones at Moses in chapter 14 of Exodus. That's right. They said, kill it. Man, we want some water. You ain't got any water. He went to God and God allowed him to strike the rock. That's it. And the same thing is about to happen here. In our text this morning, the Bible says that why? And that's the question. Look at all these interrogatives here. And that's just a question. Why have you brought us up? The whole church. Can't you hear the church complaining now? Yeah. All right. Why have you brought us up in verse number four? You got our animals out here. You know we got to kill these hogs and get some, get some stuff for Christmas. And, oh, the season. What do we right. None of us got any water. All right. What about asking God instead of complaining? All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that, that's easy to do, right? right. What about ask Moses to ask, to talk to God? Yeah. But now we can go to God on our own. Don't get me wrong. But why complain? Fortune, come to church and you look at me and I stand how? I'm saying that anything that bothers me is seeing somebody ungrateful in church. Right. Well, well, why did you come? Well, well right. I mean, I'm not telling you to stay away from the house. You can sit here and look mean if you want to. I'm yeah. glad you're here. But why? Why get up dressed up? Put on that cute bow tie. I like that bow tie, by the way, brother. I told you. <laughs> why get up and get all here? Yeah, but now, ladies, y'all get it all come out up here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Around here. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Why? It's the why? Let's go. 
But brother like me that went in the closet and shook a couple of stuff out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why spend all that time to come here? Yeah. Put the assembly and look like you are appreciative. Wow. Of anybody should be shouting this morning should be folks that God has done something. Yeah. Yeah. You say, well, I'm not the hand wave or the, or the foot stomp. You should at least show some signs. Some yeah. Yeah. No matter how old or how young you are, God has been good to us. Yeah. Let's see how good he is. Like we got to get out of here. We got to go, y'all. Folks said they got to go Sunday dinner. We finna go. <laughs> Verse number five said, why have you made us? Here go some more questions. To come up out of Egypt. Y'all got to come to Bible study if you can to get to, get to in depth. We're going to be really backtracking and cover all this. So Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the sin. They said, I've got to hurt enough from the folk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you've got to go to your little prayer closet. All right. All right. All right. You've got to get away from folks sometimes. Yes, yes, sir. Huh? Yes, I know, sir. I'm not saying you're tired of the work, yes. but you get tired in the work. Yes, yes, yes. you got to get off by yourself sometimes. Folk will work your natural nerves. Yes, yes, yes. Especially if you do something at the church. If you're a leader, if you involved in the church or go to church, you have to get away from folks sometimes. Yes, yes. I know Thanksgiving, we just left a group of folks, and that was great. But isn't it good you don't have to see them all the time? <laughs> don't, don't dare answer that. <laughs> Some of y'all thinking, like, you ain't lying. <laughs> But here, my brother, sister, Moses and Aaron, they went from the presence of the assembly yeah. to the door of the tabernacle. Right. Can I break that down? They went to the door of the yeah. church. Yeah, come on. And when you get in a, a point or position, rather, where there is no other place you can go, yeah. you ought to be able to come yeah. to the church. Yeah. You ought to be able to come to the house of God and get a peace of mind. Right. You ought to be able to come here to, to get what you need. In yeah. order to take you through the week. Amen. Yeah, you need to come to church. And can I share with you. When you come. Come with a praise on your lips. Yeah. Yeah. Because see worship and praise are two different things. Yeah. 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 You're praising for who he is. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're praising for what he does. Amen. Because you're worshiping for who he is. Yeah. That's why people shout and praise. Because they remember where he brought them from. Yeah. Yeah. And when you worship him. You can worship him in a class. Yeah. Stay in the bathroom. In the car. You're worshiping for who he is. Yeah, right. yeah he's Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. He's Jehovah Nisi. Yeah. He's Jehovah Rapha. Uh -huh. He's Jehovah Shit Canoe. Uh -huh. Okay, let me go this way then. He's my way out of my way. Yeah. 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 And my brothers and sisters, as I get ready to leave you, the Bible said the Lord did not speak to the folk. Because well, the Old Testament, you know, he spoke to the prophets. Yeah. Uh, and the prophets spoke to the folk. Uh -huh. And the Bible said he spoke to Moses. Look what he said to Moses. He gave him instruction. Can I say, please, when the Spirit leads you to do something, listen to the Lord. Uh -huh. Let's not all do what we want to do. Yeah. But what sounds good. Yeah. Right. Let's do what the Lord has us to do. The Lord said, there you what? Take the rock. Yeah. Uh, and can I share with you? Can I throw this in there parenthetically, Pastor Jackson? You got to use what you have. Uh, oh, y'all missed that. You got to use what you have. Uh, if your gift is singing, yeah. baby, sing. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, your gift is praying, you pray. Yeah. Yeah. You can serve the folks, he can do that. Yeah. Us, if that's your job, take what you have. Uh, use what you got. You can give everybody something. Yeah. But he yeah. said, Moses, take the rock. Yeah. And what I want you to do, you and your brother Aaron, get the congregation. Yeah. Uh -huh. He said, I want you to speak yes. to the rock. Uh -huh. Y'all get a chance to read this when you get home. Yeah. Moses had a problem. Moses said, right here. Yeah. And he hard headed. Oh, y'all don't know no hard head folk. Uh -huh. He said, I want you to speak to the rock. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what the Bible said he told me. Right. He yeah. said, Speak to the rock. And when you speak to the rock, Kool Aid is not going to come out. Uh -huh. Sprite ain't going to flow. Uh -huh. He said, Water is going to come up just like I did over the Exodus chapter 14. This is going to be Exodus 17. It's just going to come up out the rock. Uh -huh. But Moses uh -huh. got beside himself. Yes, sir. Like we do sometimes. Uh -huh. We think we got it going on. Man, we man. do. And I love everybody. But y'all, some folk kill me with that. What? With that chest poked out. Uh -huh. Like they do what they are all the days of their lives. Uh -huh. He said, speak to the rock. But Moses didn't speak to the rock. Moses hit the rock twice. Can't you see now? That's anger there. I don't care what nobody said. He, he wanted to hit one of them. He wanted to jack one of them up. But now that God has 
said, Jack, the mobile God ain't told you to say what you just said. Yeah. God said, speak to the rock. Yeah. And then water will come from the rubble. Uh -huh. But Moses wanted, I just 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 throwing knowledge here. This is this is what I believe. I believe he wanted to uppercut one of them. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, like you said, if I hit the rock twice. Yes, sir. And if he'd have said three times, I probably could accept it. That one more father the son and the Holy Ghost. But this is twice. All right. So twice, he said, no. But Moses did the opposite. Moses said, you rebels. Uh -huh. Now, we would say something else. We wouldn't say you rebels. Y'all don't. Y'all don't. Hold on. I see some of y'all on Facebook. Don't y'all have Y'all know what we would have done. Boy, we'd, have, we'd have done like Moses, but we'd have said some more words. Yeah, we'd have had some more vocabulary. But Moses spoke not to the rock. Yeah. Moses spoke to the people. That's just like God telling me, don't say anything to George this morning. All right. You and George had a disagreement last week. Right. Okay, you just go in and do your work and let me handle it. Right. No, I want to come out in church. <laughs> Sometimes and let them know, look, if it had not been for me, yes. who was on your side? Who can Ray Ray John and Billy and Harry? You can call them, they'll be there for a little while. But you have to really solely trust in the Lord. And my brothers and sisters, try not to complain. It can be it can be worse than what it is. Yes, sir. If you walk around with the attitude of appreciation and gratitude, and just realize if God did it. One chapter back in your life. Yeah, right. You can't forget about you. Look how many children you got to go see. Look. All right, all right. This is just a few of them worldwide. Yes, but what I love about him, he's omnipotent. Uh -huh. Meaning he's all power. He's omniscient. Meaning he's all knowing. All yeah. right. And he's omnipresent. Yes. Meaning he's everywhere. All at the same time. My brother and sister, I'm done for the day. Let the, will there be one today? Come on, choir. Bless us and get out of here. Let's shout and go home. I'm excited to know that you don't have to worry about me complaining. Yeah. Right. If I do, I'm going to catch myself. You said, Lord, I'm grateful. I'm going to trust in you. Oh. Nothing wrong with talking to friends and family about your situation. Don't let them see you complain every time they hear
superintendent this morning, and I agree with you. He has the best of my love. Oh, yeah. I thank the Lord for all you've done. Let us continue to be a blessing to somebody wherever we can. Amen. Amen. And as the book of Nehemiah puts it, he was standing as a stood before the people, and he opened up the scriptures. And the Bible says he began to read, and the folks to me got a little happy. And they began to say, Amen. to help us to understand, Lord, not to complain, but Lord, truly just trust in you, Lord. Oh, yes. For Lord, you brought us all from a mile and a mile and a mile and And Father, as we prepare to leave this place, but never from the midst of your gracious presence, give us all traveling grace and mercy. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the love of God, sweet communion and the Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule, and abide henceforth and forevermore, and let all of God's children say, Starts in Bible study is this Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Again, up until December.